You picked our hair. You picked our outfit. You picked your favorite segments. Today's show is in your hands once again. It's our Viewer's Choice Show, and it's about to start right now. Matt, start the show. You. That's right, it's our Viewer's Choice Show! Yeah. We asked you to go online and vote for your heart out. You voted for the segments, you voted for our topics, and you even voted for our hairstyles Ew. and oh. outfits. Pam. So ladies, what do you think? How did our fans do with their choices? Child, our fans did me good, child. I feel amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I love your pants, Tay Tay. Like, thank you. I, I mean, I barely fit into them because remember, I was on <laughs> Dance with the Stars at the time. I'm like 15 pounds bigger now than I was in Dance with the Stars. But that's okay. I have two spanks on. Won't he do it? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> I love, I think our fans do know what's our favorite because this is my favorite hair because this is a fake piece right here. Uh -huh. And Noogie t uh, braids it in. I know and you then, had a weave. Yeah, right here. <laughs> this isn't my banger. You can't have like five chairs. That was good. But I can sleep with this. And if you guys see my pictures, I have this look all the time because yes. I wear it for a week. I it doesn't move all the way through. I sleep like this. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> this is my favorite hair. It is. Okay. I was I was hoping for for the other outfit, but it's all good. You guys did me half good this time. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate. Wait, you guys. I legit was like on our Instagram page at the Real Daytime, and when they posted it saying, "You guys, this exact thing, you guys, you know, viewer's choice." I was oh on gosh. there like, "Pretty please." Pick really good ones for me. <laughs> you hated the last oh my curly God, hair. The last time I looked nuts. No, you I, looked cute. No, you did. No. You look. Sonia agrees with me. She's like, yeah, you. I did like my hair, but this dress, I feel like I'm a chaperone at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy line. Yeah, but I, like I don't. Y'all know I don't wear this kind of stuff. So, but know, the you, viewers you, wanted to see it, you so guys I do like it for it. the viewers. <laughs> chat today was sent in by you, our viewers. Wow. I don't know about you ladies, but I'm ready for the first topic. Yes, yes. I love it. Okay. You got me. Well, did you hear that? Okay. Oh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Jean. Did I say that right? A Jean. A Jean. A Jean. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I'm a little cultured. Okay. I can do this. Yes. He watches <laughs> us in Huntsville, Texas on Fox 26 and asks. Yay. Hey. <laughs> do you ever experience road rage? <gasps> How do you deal with that? Now, I know one person at this table better come clean, give your life over to Christ right now. <laughs> and that will be Jeannie Ma. I know this. No. To be a fact. Now, don't you tell the boys and girls of America what you do when you have road rage, because I know you've gotten caught behind the wheel before. Okay, guys, I just shared this with you yesterday. Yes. You haven't heard it yet. It happened this weekend. See? I lost it. I was taking my mom to Topanga Canyon Mall. We were both in the car. Yeah. I turn to find a parking space, and there's one on the right. I put on my blinker to turn in. This woman comes barreling down the illegal side of the road and steals my spot, almost hitting me. 
I go, okay, maybe she didn't see me. I come out of my car and I knock on her window and I say, You bold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you bold. Because chat. she might not have seen me. So I was like, Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Like, I, was, I had my blinker on, so if you mind, like, I, I already was getting the spot. Mm -hmm. She rolls down the window, she goes, Honey, your name is not on this parking spot. You can move. I was like, No, she didn't. <laughs> Mama Mai comes out and oh. she says, So she knocks carefully, she goes, Excuse me, excuse me. Me, my, me. She said, my daughter and I waiting here. We we wait for a few minutes, and then you come wrong way. You don't do that. Please yeah. move. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Nicely, nicely. So then, the woman opens her door. Oh my God! I get okay. She opens the door, <laughs> and she says, "What the? Are you saying? Can you speak English? Oh, what? No, I'm not here for it. No. Yeah. And can you speak English? No. I told you to move. Push my mom like a karate oh, kid. No. Oh, by her no. neck the door. You better than me. I lost it. I closed, she shut the door. My mom and I looked at each other. Like my earrings came up. You guys, pre-Jesus genie came back so hard. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm serious. Somebody <laughs> touches your mother. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's just a fight. See, I so I took out my up. earrings. I started yelling like crazy. These two girls walk out, and I'm not kidding you. I feel really bad, ladies. But they go, aren't you Jeannie Mai on the reel? Oh we love God. your show. So then I'm like, oh, God. So then I realized, like, I can't really participate in the yeah. ratchetity anymore. Right. You know, it is ratchet. Ratchet. But you can't. Yeah. So I go, it's Mom, it's that's not it. ratchet if somebody lays hands on your on mother. Your but then these girls that don't know right. that. So then I go, okay, guys, I'm sorry. I was in a moment. You're so like I go, this fighting the girl. Thank right. you, guys. Keep <laughs> watching. <laughs> Tell me. So I go in the car. I go, Mom, let's go. She goes, why, why, why are you going? We don't do anything yet. I said, get in the car, Mom, let's go. So I start to drive away, and I'm shaking so mad. And she said, no, no, we have to scare her. We do something. Scare her. <laughs> scare her brain. So then she, she goes, what the thing you do when you do something, they do back you. And I said, karma. And she goes, give me paper, paper right now. So she write, this is genius, you guys. So she writes karma on a note and slaps it on her gas tank so that the lady thinks that we did something to her gas tank. Uh -huh. And so she wrote it, karma, with a, with a happy face. And she put it on the thing. The only thing is, she spelled karma, comma, C-O-M-M-A. <laughs> slaps it on the thing. But to tell you the laugh made me feel better that we did something and we oh drove away. God. So lady, I'm telling you, it's coming for you. Yeah. I'm not watching. That's a great it's story. Yeah. It is coming for you. Don't play. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> Thank you, kind uh, sir. Uh, I'm married now. You may go. Okay. <laughs> this next topic was sent in on Twitter by Jessica Carmen. She watches us in Austin, Texas on Fox 7 and asks, Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. If a man or woman you love was sentenced to prison for five years, would you wait? And if so, would it be faithfully? Tam Tam, why are your eyes bugging out of your head right now? She don't know nobody in jail. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and Would I... you wait for Housley? Well, if Housley was in jail, it's because he was wrongfully accused. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Yes. Really? Yes. I would never date a person that has jail characteristics. Is that a word or, or a saying? I just, I just wouldn't do that. However, if that happened, of course I'm going to stand by my man. If, I, if we're married and I love him. Yes, faithfully. But what if he wasn't wrongfully accused? What if he did something? Let's like just say for the said, story. No, Adam would not be, he's not that person. I'm not that person he's either. Not Jesus. What? Okay, wait. No, but Adam is not, no. Hey, Mark. Yes. I don't know anybody in jail. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> what? Five years is a long time. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I mean, no. <laughs> wow. Okay, I have to say, <laughs> if it was, I, I, no. okay, it depends on what the brother did. Now, if yeah. it was Marcel, the mailman, I would wait. You <laughs> wait 10 years. Like, I mean, would you expect Adam to wait on you for five years? I don't expect, I know he would. He'd bring the kids to come see you. To come see me. You would yeah. take my babies have... up to the jail, the big house? <laughs> she didn't have yeah. a kid. So 
so she don't know. She I know never you, been. Yeah, you don't. You'll never. It'll never happen. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I, well, I've been. And let me tell you, you can make T-shirts. They like it when you have T-shirts that they say like their it. name, like like free free little Boosie, like you know them. <laughs> you need like a shirt. They little like boozy. that. And then they have murals. You don't know they have like a the mural. Like the you, mural you take sometimes pictures like that. Like a motorcycle yeah. behind it. Yeah. And you can pretend you're on what the jail motorcycle. You, go too no, much you gotta be careful though, because I knew somebody in jail, and you can't send anything but paper, even if it has tape yeah. or staple. It they send it back to you. Yeah. I know, because I made like pictures and pretty like oh, you, you know. Dated somebody went to jail. Oh goodness. <laughs> no, no, it was. Here we go. Someone she knew. Oh, someone yeah. knew. I knew. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah, asking. She did. You have to. You got oh, me. It sounds like Jeannie, Jeannie. I have a question. Would you wait for me if I was in jail? I'd wait for you. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not going to jail. You're not going to jail. Look at you. Fine. got a job. I'm not going. Okay. Right, thank you, Marcel. All right, what you got, Lonnie? Okay, okay. This topic was sent in on Instagram by Vicky, who watches us in Detroit. Yes! Yay. Cool. I love y'all. I love y'all out there. Vicky, Vicky, the question... Vicky is, ooh, is it always good to agree to disagree? Or should you stand up for yourself when you know that you're right? Oh. Tamar. Well, you know, it's a method to the madness, okay? Teach. <clears throat> I don't ever want to be in a situation where I'm hooting and hollering and ba 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 and whack, 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 and I'm wrong as two left feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that happens sometimes in my life. Really? But, Just sometimes? Sometimes. But, you know, for the sake of a real good, healthy relationship, yeah. you have to kind of agree to disagree, because sometimes it's not always your point of view. I said that. I grew up. What are you doing? You got me. Thank you so much. All right, now with the presidential race heating up, our fans would love to talk about the results of the Iowa caucus. It's the first major electoral event of the nomination process for the president, so it's kind of a big deal. Now the great state of Iowa, yes, held its caucus Monday night. Now Ted Cruz beat out Donald Trump on the Republican side, and Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders polled so closely that it looked like a tie but the next morning, Hillary was declared the winner. But you guys, it was so close. It was so close that in some caucus precincts that a delegate was awarded with a coin toss. Yes, you, you heard me correctly. So, Lonnie, isn't it crazy that they're using a coin toss to determine this? Well, it's because of the fact that they were so close. They were in a dead heat. So and... close is not an actual tie. Yeah. No, well... That means somebody they were basically, was more. It depends on the precincts. Okay, can I... I'm just... Hey... But the thing Pardon is, my is that... ignorance. Basically, a tie and a tie is two different things. It was that a means tie somebody. I know, but there was a percentage a where Hillary Clinton actually was right. But up. it was a small percentage. So how do you that... feel about it happening with a coin toss? How do you feel? Well, I mean, first of all, it's not a national vote; it's one state. state. And I think that we have this democratic process. It's a long time till November. I think a lot of people that were worried about Donald Trump, now you got to see him, I believe, be humble um, yes. during the Iowa defeat. And I think that that's a good thing. And I think that it shows that our process can work. Iowa is just one state, but we really have to look out for the other states, Super Tuesday, things like that. So now we'll see what happens in New Hampshire and Super Tuesday, which is a lot of people. So your vote matters. Yeah, you you right. think it, it doesn't seems matter. It's so unofficial. It's I, just even, I just think, do we know who coin. started the coin toss? Because there obviously has to be a reason why they do the, the coin That's, toss. You know, different precincts scissors. have different, um, different ways that they handle the tie situation. Okay. So, that's what happened in, in, in Iowa. Like I said, it's not an actual vote. It's, it's for the delegates. So they're still trying to figure out who's going to get as many delegates to get the nomination for Got a Democrat it. and for the Republican. I just hate Got coin it. tosses, though. I hate I them so out of you know, I mean, like, it seems, it seems, it seems like crazy, but what would you do a, a coin thing. toss for? 
Like if you My <laughs> friends do a coin toss whenever we want to go out to eat. And I hate that because I don't want to be stuck for two hours eating somewhere just because the coin said so. But you know the what point I mean? Like, is, it, at least it gave you a decision. That yeah. was the point of the coin toss. I no, mean, you made a decision off of reasoning and evaluating, not because you the coin went on its head. Well, they were trying to do that. But like I said, evidently it went on so long that some people left. If anything, do Rochambeau because at least you earned two out of three. What do you call it? <laughs> Rochambeau. We call it paper, paper rock, rock scissors. scissors. That's or just that. like a coin toss. What does it matter? No, because no, you fought for rock, it. Rock, rock scissors. paper scissors say shoot. Rock paper scissors say shoot. shoot. Okay, wait oh, a minute. Come on. Who, who who gets it? Either Hillary or do it for Hillary. You, okay. You're Hillary and rock, you're paper, Bernie scissors. Sanders. Okay. Go One, ahead. two, three. Rock paper scissors say shoot. Oh come yeah. on. I See? won. See, Bernie would have won if it was your your thing. Yeah. We thought we would keep the girl chat going with more topics from. You guys, our audience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got Marcel, our, oh, yes, God, <laughs> by <laughs> self metal man. Honey, out there helping us. OK, our first question is from Ashlyn Walker. Where you at, girl? Hi. Hi. Oh, yes, Ashlyn. Hi, Ashlyn. Lady. Where you from, girl? I'm from Carson, California. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All right, girl, what do you want to talk to us about? How do you ladies deal with rejection? Ugh. And have you ever been rejected? Since you ladies are fabulous. Like elaborate, yes. like which rejection from what? Rejection from, from career, uh, Ooh, yeah. work, yes. Life. My affection has been rejected and I think that's super, when you go in to give somebody or you wanna love up on somebody and they're just like, just chill. Oh, and that, that hurts. But um, what you do? I stopped tugging him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I, I'm like, I'm not gonna try to, and I'm not being funny, but like, you tell me one or more times, and I get it, people that maybe don't love the same, and you mm. keep trying. I think you can try only but for so long, and then you just say, you know what, I'm gonna move on. Hey, Marcel. Yeah. Yes. I have a question for you. Okay. You wanna go out? <gasps> <gasps> Let's do it. Oh! No, you're supposed to say no! <laughs> but you're trying to get rejected. I will say this. In I will say this, in Hollywood, when you audition, you usually deal with a lot of yeah. rejection. Yes. And my mom always said, rejection is God's protection. Yeah. It really necessarily wasn't for you, and what's for you, you will get. How about yes. that? So don't worry yeah. about it. God's rejection. Uh, man's rejection is God's, God's protection. protection. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that. thank you so much for the great topic, Ashley. Yeah. All right, next up, we've got a question from Aaron Gray. Where's Aaron? Aaron. Hi. Hi. Come on, Green Shirt. Come on, Green. Yes. My favorite. Where you from, Aaron? From Los Angeles. Yeah. All right. Okay, what do you want to talk to us about today? Okay, so my question is, would you rather be loved or have a lot of money if you had to choose? That's, that's a very good Ooh, Have a lot of money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Marcel, how much money you got? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. You want to be loved. You have to find love. I, and it comes nah, in family, it comes yeah, in priceless friends. connections, of course. Priceless. But if all you have is money, don't be mad. You can get, like, a couple people to love you. Like, <laughs> you can <laughs> buy <laughs> love you, Louis Vuitton. Do you actually you love? This really, is a question. Can you really buy lonely. love? Can no, you buy love? No, 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 no. You cannot no. pay nobody to love no. you back. Marcel, no. can no. I buy you, you a car? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to pick love, yeah, right? We're yeah, going to pick day. love with the uh, exception of Lonnie. Uh, she's going uh, for money. But thank you so much, Erin. You guys, we love how you have our backs on social media. You're always paying attention, and you keep us and each other in check. But you do know we hear you, right? Well, <laughs> this time we heard you loud and clear. We asked you for your favorite segments, and 47% of you voted for this. You guys love the drama, and so do we. This is We Read You. Allow me to set the scene. Today's fan feud takes place in the comment section of one of the Reels YouTube videos with our trip to the White House. Here's a piece of it, take a look. What was your first night at college? For, oh, first night at college was, it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in a one room triple. Triple. Oh, really? You know, so you had a bed, a desk, mm -hmm. you know. A bed. A bed, a desk. <laughs> <laughs> amount of comments came through with the love and support. There was one thread focused on something entirely different. Shoes. Tamara shoes at that.
Made you look begins today's feud. And action! The cameraman should have really tried to avoid showing the bottom of Tamara's Louboutins like that. It's distracting and a tad tacky looking on camera. Five likes. Quick to react is Annie P. Tamara sitting next to Flotis and all you negative Nancys can talk about is her shoes? Seriously, this was a phenomenal moment for the real. Appreciate it. Stop with all the ridiculousness. Seven likes. <laughs> At Annie P. Girl, bye. This wasn't the last State of the Union speech. Relax. One like. <laughs> Joining in is 1123 Jim Bob. At Made You Look. As opposed to your fresh Louboutin shoes. Two likes. <laughs> At 1123 Jim Bob. Exactly. The hateration and jealousy is serious. <laughs> At 11.23, Jim Bob. I'm sorry, I missed the part where I insulted Tamara for her worn out souls and claimed that I had fresh new ones. Remind me where I said that? I simply said that it is distracting and the cameraman should have tried to avoid that. Zero likes. <laughs> Adding his two cents is James B. That made you look. So caught up in material things, it's not that deep. Commenter, Gossip T Girl. She shouldn't have worn them shoes to the White House, though. <laughs> Zero likes. Well, why don't you buy her some new shoes? 15 likes! <laughs> Here comes Ritu Dance trying to change the subject. Tamar's pants are driving me nuts. <laughs> so distracting. Back now is 1123 Jim Bob. Why are people getting all hot and bothered about Tamara's shoes? So what if they are worn a little? They are still perfectly good shoes. Eight likes. At 1123 Jim Bob. But no one is insulting her for her shoes or saying that they need to be thrown out. But you have to admit it's distracting on camera and could have been edited out. At Major Look, I ain't even noticed Tamara's shoes. <laughs> Tamar Pants was driving me crazy, though. <laughs> Everybody got something to say about Tamara's shoes, but I bet your shoes aren't the best looking on the bottom. You can't control what the ground does to the bottom of your shoes. You buying her a new pair? Shut up. And cut in scene. Oh, the drama. <laughs> ladies, let's take a bow and don't scuff your shoes on the way, ladies. We asked you to vote for your favorite interview segment, and 56% of you chose our celebrity interviews. I love yeah. those two. Well, get ready to fall in love with one more. Our guest today has gone from playing Lloyd, the unforgettable assistant on Entourage, I love that, to a publicist for a young billionaire on the new hit show, Young and Hungry. Give it up for Rex Lee. Oh! Excited to be here. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm, just, I'm just sorry that I can't have cornrows for you all. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. But you dressed in our show's colors, so we love oh, that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Wow. So I want to know, while you were waiting for your big break in Hollywood, you took a job as a casting assistant. I did. So did that experience help your career? It did in two ways. The first is, you know, the, the job on Entourage, I was playing an assistant. Mm -hmm. So I was doing five years of research without knowing I was doing it. <laughs> right. so that was awesome. 
And then the second thing is on the very first day I worked on that job, they happened to be auditioning Asian people, yeah. men and women my age. So the casting director was like, go ahead and audition. So I did, and then the camera operator showed me the audition when I was done. Yeah. And I thought I was the most subtle actor. It was extreme close up, uh -huh. and oh. I was making faces. I was mugging. Oh, I had no. no idea. I thought I was subtle. Not. No. Totally wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you get your big break playing Lloyd? Okay. Well, I have to admit, I might have done something slightly illegal. Uh -oh. Okay. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> There's this thing in Hollywood called the breakdowns, which are yeah. these yeah. casting right. notices. Okay. And, and maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to obtain them for myself. <gasps> you got the good. But I did. Mm. Um, I was lucky enough to get the audition. Mm. And then, because I'd done five years of research without yeah. knowing I was doing it, yeah. I looked at the script and I thought, can it really be that easy? And it was that easy, because I knew what to do. Uh -huh. Exactly. And then I was lucky enough to get a call back, and the rest is history. Wow. I got wow. You have to believe it. Oh, we're happy, we're happy. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're a busy actor now. We have to ask. Do you have your own Lloyd? Oh, um, I do. I, I have a friend, and he wanted some extra money, and I needed some help. So I said, hey, be my assistant. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story about that picture. That's on election day, 2008, so we've just voted. Uh -huh. When that picture finally was you know, online or in a magazine, it said Rex Lee and his new boyfriend. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that man is married to a woman. Wow. Okay. And uh -huh. you can't really say, see, but he's wearing a wedding ring. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's not married to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just gotta hook you up. <laughs> you read. That is hilarious. Now, you've been promoted from assistant to publicist on Young and Hungry. Now, is it true that you didn't have to audition for that? Oh, uh, that is true. You are so knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> Research, honey. <laughs> I have a boss named David Holden who created the show. He's the head writer. He's the showrunner. And when he was writing the show, he just said to himself, okay, this character of Elliot, I'm going to base it on that actor Rex Lee and the mm -hmm. job he does on Entourage. Uh -huh. And unbeknownst to him, I became available to work right at the moment. Yeah. 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 It, it was for happen. you. Well, Rex, it's February here at The Real, meaning we are giving our viewers a chance to be a part of the show. Now, they ask the questions and you give the fancers. Is that cool? Uh, I'm frightened, but I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> fan the chance to ask our guest of the day a question. So we have someone right in our audience today. Where is Brie Hatchet? Hi, ladies. Hi. Hey, girl, Hi. where are you from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Yay! Yay. Yay. All right, what is your question for Rex? Rex, so if you weren't acting, do you think you'd still be casting, or what would it be? What would you be doing? Good question. Wow, yes. I, you know what? The truth is I think I would be in casting. Mm. Um, I love casting. I love actors, and I like to think I have good taste in acting. I like to say, you're a good actor, you're a bad actor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I would be in casting. All oh, right. Awesome. Yeah. That's a good question. Thank you. It's Viewer's Choice Day, and we girls know you love a Fierce bag. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, check this out. We gave you the opportunity to vote online for the Gab Bag we're giving away today. So, right now, one of you in our audience, and because it's fan brewery, one lucky viewer at home will be winning the beauty you guys chose. Does that make sense? Yes. Two bags. Yes. Two bags. So, enough with all this talk. Let's cut straight to the chase because it's Gab Bag Time! Oh okay. Oh, my chair. Those of you who voted had a difficult choice to make. Yes. There was a bundle of beauties <laughs> to choose from. First up, a Burberry leather tote in the prettiest Ooh. of pinks. Gorgeous. And an opulent orange Salvatore Ferragamo bucket bag. And a stunning yellow Salvatore Ferragamo shoulder bag. <laughs> so, we posted all three bags on our website and put the power in your hands. Are you ready to find out which bag made the cut? It's gonna be good. Are you ready? Ladies, take it.
take a moment to soak her in. Can I touch it? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> 47% of the voters chose this gorgeous Burberry <laughs> medium banner house check tote, which retails for $1,595. You guys, seriously, this might be my favorite bag so far. Stunning. Really? Really? It is? What? Yes. Gorgeous. I love it. Look at the size, look at the lining, and it's compartmentalized. It's perfect. All right, right? all right. I want to know who won the bag, okay? <laughs> This bowl has the names of everyone from today's audience. I wonder whose it's going to be. Oh my God, I'm so Can nervous. I get a drum roll, please? Oh. Okay, take okay, it. We do the honors. Big D. Oh. Lottie Love. Money Man. Money Man. Money Man. Money Man. California. Hey, LBC. 562. All right, now, how does it feel knowing you're going home with this beautiful bag and it's worth $1,595? I feel happy. 